Hello students, welcome to Prayash Yuju YouTube channel. This is scholarship exam standard 5th online class, subject mathematics and the topic is fraction. So, in this video we are going to see the exercise 17.1 which is available in our non digest and the topic name in our non digest is fraction C, proper mixed fractions and their convergence equivalent fractions. So, before going to solve the exercise, we will see the model question or we can say the solve examples on page number 263 so question number one is there which of the following pair of convergence of fractions is correct so there are the four options and in each options some fractions are given and equivalent to the improper fractions also given means mixed fractions is equal to improper fractions given so whether that uh, mixed fractions to the improper fractions conversion correct or not that we have to choose and the correct options we have to make a, our answer so now in option number one there is a 2 and 3 upon 5 is equals to 23 upon 5 there okay so to make it conversion from mixed fraction to the improper fractions we know the integer or we, we know the whole number that we have to multiply with the denominator and then numerator has to add 5 multiply by 2 plus 3 so 5 multiply by 2 is a 10 10 plus this 3 it's a 13 so means 13 by 5 but uh, here shown 23 by 5 means this is not a equal so option 1 is not one then option number 2 3 and 4 by 5 is equals to 19 by 5 so 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 15 plus 4 is a 19 yes this is a correct one means option number 2 is correct option number 3 1 then 5 by 7 is equals to 13 by 7 so 7 ones are 7 plus 5 is the 12 12 by 7 so this is not equal to the 13 by 7 so option number 3 incorrect one and then option number 4 2 and 4 by 5 is equals to 24 by 5. So 5 multiplied by 2 is a 10, 10 plus 2, uh, 10 plus 4 is a 14. So 14 by 5 comes, but here 24 by 5 shown. So this is an incorrect one. So option 4 also incorrect one means option number 2 is correct one. Now question number 2, there is a, some fractions, additions we have to do. So 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3 then plus 3 by 4 so is equals to now here denominators are the different so we will make it the equal denominator and the lcm of this denominator is a 12 okay because uh, 4 is a multiple of the 2 so 4 and 3 we will make a multiplication so 4th is a 12 so here to make it a 12 here we have to multiply by 6 and see same 6 we have to multiply in numerator also here to make it 12 here multiply by 4 and then same 4 has to multiply in a numerator also here to make it 12 we have to multiply by 3 and then same 3 has to multiply in a numerator also now all are the 12 so we are making directly right as the 12 now 1 6 is 6 plus 2 4 is 8 and then plus 3 3 is 9 so after this addition 6 plus 8 is the 14 14 plus 9 that is a 23 by 12 so we will make it in mixed fraction so 12 ones are so one will be there and il remainder remainder in 11 is there okay because 12 to the 24 so means one balance means 11 should be there and this 1 and 11 by 12 is given in option number 3 now question number three which of the following fractions is the smallest one so for this one option number one seven by two okay so this will we will make it in mixed fractions conversion in mixed fractions so seven threes are six and one remainder so here three and one by two then option number two this 16 by five so this is a seven. 16 by five so 16 by five will be convert to the mixed fraction as 5 threes are 15 and then one remainder so this is 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 then option number 3 19 by 6 so 6 threes are 18 so 3 threes are 18 and one remainder so here 3 and 1 by 6 so and option number 4 22 by 7 so 7 threes are 
seven threes are twenty one and one in remainder and seven as it is now if you see all options having the integer or we can say the whole number three okay so we have to compare only on these fractions okay so after the integer so means one by two one by five one by six and one by seven now numerator are all are the same so then the denominator number which is the number in denominator having the larger number so that fraction is a smaller one so here two five six and seven so means seven is a larger one means we can say these fractions means option number four is the smallest one so option number four is correct one now exercise 17.1 so question number one is there which one of the following alternative differ from the other three differ means is a we can say the different okay so 19 by 4 17 by 4 then 3 by 4 and 5 by 4 so now if you see 19 by 4 is improper 17 by 4 also improper 5 by 4 also improper because the numerator is a greater than the denominator but 3 by 4 is a proper fraction because numerator is a smaller than the uh, denominator so that's why 3 by 4 means option number 3 is the correct one now question number 2 which smallest of the given number should be added to the denominator of the fraction so fractions is given 24 by 4 to make it proper fraction so now this is improper to make it proper fractions denominator should be greater than this one so means we should not be make the denominator 21 it should be 22 or more than 22 to make it at least 22 at least 22 so 22 minus 4 means 18 has to added okay so 18 is given in option number 2 we can add the 19 also but the question is saying which smallest of the given number okay so 19 well, 19 also we can add means option number 1 also correct and 2 also correct but in question mentioning which smallest number smallest means 19 and 18 in this one 18 is the smallest one so option number 2 is 18 is a correct one now question number 3 on next page so which one of the following number should be added to the numerator of the fraction 5 by 13 to make it improper so if for to make it improper numerator must be greater than denominator now denominator is 13 so means here 14 or more than 14 not a 13 okay so to make it 14 so 14 minus 5 means here 9 has to at least add okay so means we can uh, choose it from the option number 4 which is have the nine number okay so question number three option number four is correct one now question number four how is the improper fractions 13 by 5 written as a mixed fraction so as we know mixed fraction for the mixed fraction numerator should be converted as a dividend so 13 as a dividend and 5 or um, we can say the denominator as a divisor so 5 and 13 so 5 2s are 10 okay and remainder is a 3 so now new remainder is to be written as a numerator okay so 3 as it is and this uh, quotient will be as a in uh, integer number or we can say whole number and then this divisor should be at the denominator so 2 and 3 by 5 2 and 3 by 5 is given in option number 2 now question number 5 2 and 6 by 7 is equals to how much okay so this is a mixed fraction so in options if you see all the options are in improper so we will convert it 7 to the 14 14 plus 6 is a 20 and denominator will be same as it is same as it is so 20 by 7 means option number 3 is correct one now question number 6 which of the following mixed fraction is not proper so if you see fraction is there but not a proper so first option 2 and 3 by 5 so 5 to the 10 and plus 3 so it's a 13 by 5 we have to choose the in, uh, mixed fraction in proper way that is not a proper fraction in proper way okay so this is a improper fractions okay then 1 and 4 by 7 so 7 ones are and plus 4 means 11 by 7 this is also the fraction option number 3 
there is a 11 and 11 by 12. So here the 11 means 12 multiplied by 11 means 132 and then this 11 means 143 by 12. This is improper fraction type. Okay, and then option number 4, 12 and 12 by 12. Okay, so 12 by 12 means 12 ones and 12 ones are means 12 plus 1 means this is a 13. So this is a whole number. Okay, this is not a fraction means this is not equal mixed fractions or improper fractions. So this is a whole number. So option number 4 is a correct one. Now question number 7, which of the following is not an equivalent fractions of the fractions 29 by 8. As we know the equivalent fractions so first of all we have to convert the options into improper fractions okay then we will con uh, compare with uh, this fraction so then we can say which is the equivalent fraction so option number one is a 3 and a 5 upon 8 so this multiplication has to do means 8 threes are 24 24 plus 5 so it's a 29 by 8 it is a equivalent so means option number one is a correct one okay then option number two 58 by 16 so if you reduce or we can take out the two so this will be the 29 multiplied by two and here the eight multiplied by two so two get two get cancel means it's a 29 by eight and this is also equivalent to the this one then option number three three and six by eight so now eight three is a 24 plus three six it's a 30 by eight so this is not equivalent to the this given fractions then 290 by 80 so here 10 multiply here also 10 multiply so if you take out the 10 or we can cancel the 10 so the answer will be 29 by 8 means this is also the equivalent of this one but in question is asking which of the following is not is not means now we are getting option number 3 which is not equivalent to this one. So option number 3 is the correct one for question number 7. Now question number 8. Write the correct number in a box. So the question is that 51 divided by 119 is equals to there is a box and divided by 7. So now 51 by 119 we can make a multiplication of this or we can say the factors of 51 is 3 multiplied by 17 and for the 119 so this is a 7 multiplied by 17 so 17 we can take out so 17 ones and 17 ones are, or we can say 17 bit cancel so this is a 3 by 7 and now in a box so we can replace with this 3 so 3 is the digit which is given in option number 4 thank you